Well, good afternoon, Michiganders. It is Tuesday, December 1st, and this is Tuesday with Tom, Michigan's only weekly internet show where we do answer your questions about estate planning and estate settlement in Michigan, and we don't send you a bill. I'm your host, Tom Doyle, estate planning attorney, lifelong Michigan resident, and ambassador for all things good in the great state of Michigan. Welcome, welcome to today's program. A brief announcement before we get started, though, is I'm happy to announce that the Doyle Law PC Legal Store is now finally open for business. Through the legal store, Amanda and I are providing Michigan residents, no matter where you happen to be in the state of Michigan, with access to attorney-prepared legal documents online, such things as certificates of trust, durable powers of attorney, health care powers of attorney, appointment of funeral representatives, etc., are now available through our legal store. So if that's something that you're interested in, I invite you, or if you have friends that family might, might be interested, send them on over. That would be doyalawpc.com and click on the legal store. Last week's episode, last week's episode, I talked about three reasons to never make accounts jointly owned with a child. So if that's something that you're thinking about doing, or perhaps you've already done that, I encourage you, listen to last week's episode before you do it, or if you've already done it, listen to last week's episode, and I give you some suggestions on what you can do if you've already made an account jointly owned with your child. But today's show, today's show, a question that Amanda and I are frequently asked during seminars, frequently asked during consultations with clients, and it simply comes up in oftentimes just talking to people, and that is, do you have to avoid probate? But please remember, what I'm about to discuss during today's program is, as always, sorry about that, a little bit of technological issue there. Remember, what I'm about to discuss during the program is, as always, for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be legal advice. You need to work with your attorney to determine what is appropriate for you and your estate plan. Do you have to avoid probate? Well, let's just start out with what we're talking about probate because probate is essentially a court. It's part of the judicial system in the state of Michigan and most other states. So you have the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the state of Michigan. Then you have appellate courts or court of appeals. You have circuit courts and you have district courts and you have probate courts. And when we talk about what is probate, we're talking and we're talking about a process that happens in the Michigan probate court. And there are a number of things that happen in the Michigan probate court. Things like guardianships, things like adoptions, some things like conservatorships. But what we're focusing on today, when we talk about do you have to avoid probate, What we're talking about is, do you have to avoid involving the probate court when you die? So what is probate for our purposes today? What probate is, for our purposes, is a court process to give legal authority to someone to transfer ownership of something that you own after you die. Let me just give this example. Let's say I have a house just in my name. You all understand that if today I wanted to transfer ownership of my home to somebody else, I have to sign a deed. That's the process. That's the legal process by which I would transfer ownership of my home to somebody else. 
Now, let's say I die owning that home. And that home has to go to somebody else at the time of my death. Let's say maybe my child. My child is supposed to receive my home after my death. Probate, in that case, would be the legal process to give somebody the legal authority to sign the deed that still has to be signed in order to transfer ownership of the home to my child. So in essence, that's what probate is. It's a legal process giving authority to someone to transfer ownership of something that you own after you die. Question, do you then have to avoid that process? And I think that question comes up a lot because there seems to be a general concept out there that you have to avoid probate. Probate is the worst thing that you could ever do to your family. It's the worst thing could ever happen. And I know there are a number of attorneys, there are a number of financial folks who put on different seminars And you will frequently hear at that seminar that you do have to avoid probate. But part of the problem with that at that seminar is oftentimes there is an ulterior motive for convincing you to avoid probate. It might be that they want to sell you a living trust. It might be that they want to sell you maybe an annuity or another financial product that would be designed to avoid probate. So I think... There's a lot of misinformation out there about avoiding probate that causes so many people to think you have to avoid probate. So let's answer the question. Do you have to avoid probate? No. No. There's nothing in the law that says you have to avoid probate. There's nothing in estate planning that says you have to avoid probate. But let's keep a couple things in mind. One, avoiding probate is not an estate plan. To say to somebody, I want to avoid probate, that is not an estate plan. Probate should really simply be a choice, something that you decide about or make a decision about. And that is, do you want an estate that will avoid probate when you die? Do you want a plan in place to avoid probate when you die or not? But it shouldn't be something that just happens. But unfortunately, if you don't plan for it, if you don't plan to avoid probate, then generally speaking, the law in the state of Michigan has your estate going through probate. So it's kind of a default. Probate would be the default that will happen unless you do something to avoid it, but you don't have to avoid it. But what you need to understand is perhaps there are reasons to consider avoiding probate and so that you can make an intelligent decision. Is your an estate, an estate that should avoid probate? Let me give you an example. I had a woman come in my office one time. She was adamant when she sat down across a desk for me, I have to have an estate that avoids probate. Why? My friends tell me I have to. I just went to a seminar that tells me I have to. So I have to avoid probate. But when we talked about what she owned and we talked about who she wanted it to go to and what was important to her in making that happen, she finally realized that she did not have to avoid probate. It was a question of, did she want to do certain things to avoid probate? So why avoid it? Let's just get that. Why do folks look at oftentimes avoid probate? There's really a few things that I think come into consideration when you analyze your estate and determine, do you want an estate plan to avoid probate? And one of them is going to be the time. How long is it going to take for an estate to go through probate? In general terms, in general terms, Amanda and I, if we were meeting with you today and you ask that question, we're going to tell you it's likely going to be about 12 months for a probate estate to happen in the state of Michigan. Now, that might be much longer 
if you live, for example, in Wayne County, where there's a lot more people, a lot more people dying. But generally, rule of thumb we talk about is 12 months. So for some people, they look and say, hey, that's okay. I don't have a problem with it taking maybe a long time for assets to go to somebody else after I die. Alternatively, some folks are going to say, no, 12 months is not a good idea. I need it to be much quicker than that. Maybe my spouse, I'm married. My spouse can't wait 12 months to receive an estate from me after I die. Or maybe my kids, I don't want my kids to wait 12 months after I die to receive an estate. But it does take time. And then you compare that for example, to other strategies that you might use to avoid probate. And let's use an example, a bank account. A bank account, if, if, and I'm not saying you should, but if you had a beneficiary on the bank account, then when you die, the beneficiary takes your death certificate to the bank and the bank gives them the money fairly quick not taking 12 months for that to happen. Now, should you have a beneficiary on your bank account, that's a whole other conversation and a whole part of the analysis that needs to go into it. But there's an example of where you could have a strategy that would pass that bank account much faster than going 12 months. Another consideration, cost. What's it going to cost? And this for many clients, I think is going to be perhaps the more important consideration when it's all said and done. Generally speaking, when you probate an estate, you're going to hire someone like Amanda and and me to do that probate for you because you don't know what you're doing. There's a process. There's lots of forms. There's lots of procedures. There's dates that have to be followed, notices that have to be published, etc., etc. So generally speaking, most people are going to hire someone like us. We're going to charge for that work. And we find that in most probate estates today, the cost for attorney fees is probably going to be in the neighbor of four to $6,000, maybe $7,000, even for a fairly simple, what you might think of as a straightforward estate. So clients are going to look and say, what alternatives do I have to save money? Again, go back and look at that bank account. What does it cost me to put a beneficiary on the bank account? Probably nothing at the bank. If you did that, that saves considerable amount of money as opposed to having maybe your bank account and other assets to go through probate. So it's a, it can be a dollar consideration, but you need to look and say, what's the cost of going through probate? And what's the cost of avoiding probate? Many clients might start looking at a, a living trust. Some attorneys charge more for the living trust than it actually costs for your state to go through probate. But they might have put on a seminar. They might have convinced you that you need to have that legal trust to avoid probate when in fact, when in fact the fee that they're charging for the legal trust might exceed what it's realistically going to cost for your state to go through probate, but it's a consideration. Cost is always going to be a consideration. Another consideration that maybe you haven't thought about that becomes important to some people, and that is a question of privacy. What happens with that account that goes through probate after your death is there is a public record created a public record created of what you owned that is now going to go through probate. And some clients who like to maintain their privacy during their lifetime don't want to give up that privacy after they die. Example, elderly client of mine had an estate in the neighborhood of $5 million and one daughter and his entire estate was going to, that was his plan, go to his daughter when he died. Well, his daughter lived a very modest lifestyle. And he wanted to be sure to protect her privacy at the time of his death. That is, he did not want a public record to be created where somebody could go down to the probate court and look through a probate court file and see how much money or how much stock or real estate, whatever it happened to be, she now inherited. 
so protecting her privacy was important to him because he understood that the probate process is a public process. Anybody can go down, anybody can look at a probate court file and find out what did someone die owning that's now going through probate and, as important to that, can find out who did that go to. So privacy, protecting the privacy of the people that are receiving your estate is a consideration for a number of people. Another time, avoiding probate often is a good idea, is when you're going to disinherit a child. You've got three children. You've decided for whatever reasons you want to disinherit one of your children. Avoiding probate, when you look at the way probate happens and you look at alternatives to probate, is likely going to be a good idea, i.e. to avoid probate, if you're going to disinherit a child. And if that's something that's of interest to you, I've had an entire episode of Tuesday with Tom on how you go about disinheriting a child. And a fourth one, or a fifth one, I guess, is that we're going to talk about this afternoon, and that comes into Medicaid recovery. And again, I've had other episodes of Tuesday as Tom where I've talked about Michigan's Medicaid recovery law. That's the law that essentially says if you go on Medicaid after you die, the state of Michigan is supposed to come after your estate to try and get back the money that they paid for you on Medicaid. And if you are interested in that, I invite you to look at one of my previous episodes. But what you will find there is that the only thing that the state of Michigan can go after is your probate estate. So by having a, an estate plan that avoids probate is also a strategy to avoid Medicaid recovery in the state of Michigan. So there are a number of reasons that people will look at avoiding probate, but they have to be decisions. Again, I think it's decisions that you make, not because I just didn't make a decision and the, and the law in the state of Michigan forces my state to go through probate. You sit and you analyze what are your goals? What do you own? What are the considerations for your estate? What about probate? What about avoiding probate? What options do I have for avoiding probate? What options do I have for my estate going through probate? And that's quite frankly where a will generally comes into place is having a will that essentially says where your estate is going to go once the probate process is completed. Again, do you have to avoid probate? No, it should be a choice that you make. Now, there are a lot of strategies that might be available for you to avoid probate. You might look at for example, using beneficiary designation. So you might look at using joint ownership. You might look at living trust. You might look at things like ladybird deeds, all kinds of different strategies that are out there that your attorney should be able to go through with you in determining what of those strategies are appropriate for you if, in fact, one of your goals is to look at avoiding probate. Obviously, Amanda and I would be happy to talk to you about those strategies that could be put into place if you're looking at avoiding probate. But again, it's a decision that you should be making for yourself. It's a decision that you should be making for your family, not simply my, I'm a, just avoiding probate and I'm going to spend any amount of money to do it or simply allowing your estate to go through probate because maybe you didn't realize that there are ways to avoid it if that would have made sense for you. Again, Amanda and I would be honored to have the opportunity to assist you in putting together an estate plan that would, or perhaps amending a plan that you already have, or maybe assisting you in settling a loved one's estate. During this time of COVID, I say it again, our office is not 
actually seeing people in person. We are doing everything remotely, uh, virtually, if you will, through telephone consultations or Zoom calls, etc. But I would invite you to take a look at the Doyle Law PC Planning from Home service that's available again through the website at doylelawpc.com and that planning from home service will explain how it is we can put together an estate plan for you without you having to leave your home and risk being exposed <clears throat> to COVID. If you're an existing Doyle Law PC client, I invite you to take a look at the virtual office tab again at Doyle Law PC and click on the update my plan tab and that's the service that we have available for our clients where you can tell us hey I had my plan done for by you I want to make this change what do I need to do and then we'll get back with you about what you need to do to make that happen so a number of options available for you where Amanda and I can assist you in putting together your estate plan certainly can assist you also in settling an estate. Many estates get settled today, even when probate is involved, the vast majority of those states that are getting settled today don't require you or us to personally appear at the probate court, which is why we are essentially able to handle settling an estate through probate if, that's, if that is what's necessary, or perhaps settling an estate where there's a trust involved wherever you happen to be in the state of Michigan. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's show. As always, though, if you have a comment about the program, perhaps a topic that you would like to have me discuss or questions that you would like to have answered, please Send me an email, tom at tuesdaywithtom.com, or mail me a postcard, Tom Doyle, P.O. Box 16066, Lansing, Michigan, 48901. And of course, we invite you, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's Tuesday with Tom. Also follow the office at Doyle Law PC. Remember, too, the Tuesday with Tom app is available in both the App Store and Google Play, so you can take the program with you wherever you happen to be. And the program is available not just through the Tuesday with Tom website, but a number of other services such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Speaker, all different channels out there on the internet where you will find that you can access Tuesday with Tom. And of course, you can always ask your smart speaker to play Tuesday with Tom for you. Thank you again for spending of your, some of your time with us today, though. And as always, I hope that you have an awesome day and an awesome week in Michigan. Stay safe. Tuesday with Tom has been brought to you by the estate planning attorneys at Doyle Law PC. To learn how we can help you with your estate plan or with settling a loved one's estate, please call us today at 517-323-7366. That's 517-323-7366.